Hello techies, welcome back to Power Automate Desktop Tutorials. In the previous tutorial, we have learned about get XML element attribute action. By using this action, we have retrieved the XML attribute values. All right? Let's recap about the XML attributes and XML elements once again. Attributes are part of the XML elements. If you see over here in this example, we are having gender under the students notes. You can see over here student gender equal to male. And also if you see under the teachers node that we are having name inside that we are having gender. Both are providing the same kind of information related to the gender information, right? But if you observe over here in the node itself that we are having gender equal to double quotes male and class equal to double quotes single value that is one that I have integer value right but over here if you observe inside the tags that i'm having the information so over here whenever we are going to define inside the node like this student gender equal to double quotes male in that case we'll call it as attribute over here and in this case over here under the teachers node we are having the gender we'll call it as element so whenever you are going to define the attributes we are going to provide inside the notes itself like in such a way student gender equal to male and also if you observe over here the male information that we have given in double quotes or single quotes and also if you observe we can have multiple attributes which are going to provide the information related to the child notes so if you see that name i am having student name this information how many number of names if i have even that is the common information the gender is male it is going to give the information all right now in the previous session we have seen how to retrieve the data by using get xml element attribute that is attribute values by using this action now what i'm going to do i'm going to retrieve the value of the xml element that how can we go ahead and retrieve it by using get xml element value to retrieve the attribute values, we have used get XML element attribute action. Whereas if you want to get the element value in that case that you are going to use get XML element value. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. Now over here, first we'll see the parameters. What is the parameters that we have? First one is the XML document from which document or the xml document that we want to retrieve the element value by using get xml element value that is xml document and now if you see the second parameter xpath query xpath query in the sense that you can see over here we are having a lot of elements over here like state city email phone and inside the name also that we are having first name and the last name now let us assume I want to get the first name from the students. Then how can we go ahead and do that? We'll give the xpath query as students teachers slash students slash students slash name slash first name. This is the xpath query which we are having the element name, right? I'm going to use the same path over here in the xpath query. And now if you see the third parameter get value as this will specify the data type for the XML element value which we are going to retrieve that you can see over here text value numeric value date time value boolean value now i will be taking it as a text value and the value which we have retrieved by using get xml element value that the output we are going to store in the variables produce that is xml element value all right now let's click on save now to display the element value which we got it as part of the get xml element value then i'm going to use the same flow variable in the display message that is xml element value let's click on double click on the display message i'm going to give the flow variable over here as xml element value and then i'm going to click on save now in this case what will happen now if you observe over here it will go through the export query and it will retrieve the value. Now, over here, you don't have any parameter to define the attribute because of we're not going to get the value of the attribute. We're going to get the element value over here. Let's click on save and let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started and you can see over here 
right now the output i got it as james because of i have defined the element over here as the first name so that i got the value as james all right now you may ask why can't we use the xml element attribute to get the value but over here if you double click on the element attribute that is get xml element attribute action over here you can define the attribute name but in this case let's assume if i'm going to give the value as first name let's see how it will work or not so in this case we know that one it will throws an error let's see about that to get confirmation okay let's click on save and let me disable this get xml element value for the time being let's run the flow to see the output as we know this will throws an error because of that we don't have the attribute name first name over here you can see over here the error we got it as attribute first name not found over here the reason is that we are having the attribute as gender over here in this student node over here class is the attribute over here the first name is the element that's the reason we got it as error over here while you are going to define inside the xml element attribute that attribute name as the element all right i hope you understand how to retrieve the values from the element by using get xml element thank you for watching power automate tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a wonderful day